Hello students and welcome to our online learning lesson. This is for grade one language. We are still on the unit six, the old house. Today, we will be doing a lot of exercises on there is and there are. Let's proceed for the lesson. And first, you've got to do some conversation on my country and then some vocabulary before we go into the lesson for today. My country. Thailand is my country. The former name was Siam. The current capital city is Bangkok. Bangkok is named the Venice of the East. The Thai flag has three colours, red, white and blue. Buddhism is the national religion. Ratchapruk is the national flower. My country is beautiful and peaceful. Thai food is very delicious. I am proud to be a Thai. I love my country. Dialogue 1 About My Country 1. What is the name of our country? It's Thailand. 2. What was the former name of Thailand? It was Siam. 3. What is the current capital city of Thailand? It's Bangkok. 4. What was the first capital of Thailand? It was the Kortai. Five. Why is Bangkok named the Venice of the East? Because of the many canals. Six. How many colors are there? in the Thai flag. Three colors, they are red, white and blue. Seven. What is the national religion of Thailand? Is Buddhism. Eight. Do you love your country? 
Yes, I love my country. สวัสดีขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณที่ติดตามบทเรียนเรื่องประเทศของฉันวันนี้ขอบคุณทอเลทอเลนัมเบอร์ทูวอลิมวอลิมนัมเบอร์ทรีทอเลสต์ทอเลสต์โซเชียลสตูดิสนัมเบอร์วันจิวจิวนัมเบอร์ทู Bible, Bible. Number three, cross, cross. Science. Number one, soft, soft. Number two, rough, rough. Number three, heavy, heavy. Health education. Number one, milk, milk. Number two, vegetable, vegetable. Number three, fish, fish. Language. Number one, monkey, monkey. Number two, little, little. Number three, tall, tall. Let's do our reading now. Repeat this sentence after me. Science. The desk is made of wood, and it is so heavy. Now repeat the whole sentence after me. The desk is made of wood. And it is so heavy. Very good. Let's go on to a lesson about nouns. We are on Unit Six, the old house. Our vocabulary is one, bathroom, two, bedroom, three, living room, four, hall, five. Dining room, six, kitchen, seven, stairs, and eight, cellar. Do you also remember that nouns are names of places, people, animals, things, or ideas? Now, give me a name of a place. Mm -hmm. People, mm -hmm. animals. Good. What about things? Did you say pencil? Okay, very good. Let's carry on. You're very good student. Uh huh. And also remember that. Some nouns are countable, and some nouns are not countable. So, number one, some nouns can be countable, or 
are uncountable. Also, we can be able to make some nouns in plural and change the way we write the words. Mostly, we use an S at the end of the word to show that it's plural. But that's not for every word. But for now, that's what we're using. Very good. Do you remember the singular form? Singular form means one. And plural form means more than one. Now that you already know about nouns, you know about the plural or singular forms and how to use that, about countable and uncountable nouns. Today we will do a lot of work on the arrays and there are the arrays can also be contracted contracted meaning it can be shortened okay it can be shortened and sound or read this way there's there's so the arrays can also be read or written as there's we use there is when something or someone is just one in number. Do you see a monster? What color is a monster? How many eyes does a monster have? Okay, it's color purple. Now we will say there's a monster. Notice we put a a monster because a is called an article which shows it's one monster so when it is one when something is one we say a and in this case we say a monster there's a monster but we use a when the word starts with a consonant sound but we use n which is a n when the next word or the noun that we are about to say starts with a vowel sound for example we say an egg 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 starts with an e remember our vowels were uh, a e o and u okay yeah because those are vowels so for vowel sounds we use n a n but for consonant sounds like monster starts with an m which is a consonant and then an o and an n and has a consonant then we say a monster so there's a monster there are we use there are when something or someone is or are more than one do you see the cats there good how many cats are they okay there are four cats so we say there are four cats so if i asked you how many are they you'd say there are four cats there are four cats there are four cats very good now i want you to take out your super minds students book now please take out your super mind students books very good please open page 71 Seven one seventy one. Very good. Look at number two. 
listen and say there's a monster there are four cats let's say that again say after me there's a monster there are four cats great number 3 play the description game let's say there's a monster and there are good now we will look at the pictures from number 1 to number 6 and this is a guessing game so you don't have to be very accurate okay it's a guessing game because you may not be too sure what you see but let's try picture 1 do you see a cat a cat is on the sofa good it's color brown but there are also three or is it four more cats So let's say there are four more cats which are gray in color. So the total number of cats is 5. Then there's a monster. It's seated on the green sofa. So we will say there's a monster and there are five cats. If you say 5, if you say 4, It's okay. It's a guessing game. Number 2. What do you see? Number 2. I see a cat. I also see a monster. So how will you say that? Say it after me. There's a monster. And there's a cat. Very good. Number 3. How many monsters do you see there? And how many cats are there? Okay, can you do that with your guardian or your brother or do you have someone around you right now? Please tell them what you see. Also tell them what you see in number 4. In number 5 and in picture number 6. Okay, go ahead now and do that. Students book. Page 72. 1. Listen and sing. Come on, come on and see me in my little house. There are lots of lovely animals in my little house. There's a cat in the living room. There's a spider in the kitchen. There are seven crocodiles in my lovely bathroom come on come on come on and see me in my little house there are lots of lovely animals in my little house there's a snake in the cellar there's a lizard in my bedroom room there are tigers lots of tigers in my lovely garden come on come on and see me in my little house there are lots of love lovely animals in my little house now sing the song again
Student's Book, page 72. 2. Listen again and number the pictures. Come on, come on and see me in my little house. There are lots of lovely animals in my little house. In the living room There's a spider in the kitchen There are seven crocodiles In my lovely bathroom Come on, come on and see me In my little house There are lots of lovely animals In my little house There's a snake in the cellar Let's see if you were able to number the rooms in order of the numbers they come from the beginning of the song to the end of the song. Good. Number one was living room. Number two is kitchen. Number three was bathroom. Number four was cellar. Number five bedroom and number six garden good if you didn't write that already please write those on your book now page 72 on the song okay please write that on your books now number one is living room number two kitchen number three bathroom number four cellar Number five, bedroom. And number six, garden. Please write that on the picture. Very good. Now, turn to page 73. Did you open page 73 already? Great. Number one shows a pack. Do you remember what a pack is? Let me say it. some children go to play at the park some days or at the playground. But park is spelled P-A-R-K. A park could have many things there, including trees and walkways and some people run in the park many different activities happen in the pack so now you will also look at the back of your book for stickers that you will place on the picture for every question students book page 73 one listen Look and stick. Look at the picture. OK. Is there a park? Yes, there is. Are there any bikes? Yes, there are. Are there any dogs? No, there aren't. How many ducks are there? There are seven then. Students book, page 73. Two. Listen and say. Is there a plane? 
Yes, there is. Are there any rats? No, there aren't. How many cars are there? There are four cars. Number three, look at activity one again. I will ask and you will answer. Number one, is there a plane? If you say the yes there is, then you correct. Number two, is there a rat? If you say no, there isn't, then you're correct. Very right, very good. Number three, are there any cars? Are there any cars? Yes, there are. If you say yes, there are, you're very correct. Number five, is there a cake? Yes, there is. Good. Number six. Are there any kites? Yes, there are. Good. Number seven. Are there any pears? No, there aren't. Number eight. Is there a go-cat? No, there isn't. Good. Please keep away your student's book, your Supermind student's book. Please close it and keep it away. And now, open your workbook. We will have workbook practice from page 71 page 73 please open your workbook from page 71 workbook page 71 1 listen and circle 1 there's a frog on the piano Two. There's one butterfly on the flower. Three. There are three bananas in the lunchbox. Four. There are four apples in the tree. There's a lizard on the log. Six. There's a football on the TV. Still on page 71. Look at the pictures in activity 1. Then circle the words. Number one, there's or there are a frog on the piano. Which one should we circle? Should we circle there's or there are? Yes, we should circle there's. Why? Because it's a frog, one frog on the piano. So circle theirs. Now try to do the rest of them from number two, three, four, five, and six. Take your time now and do that work. 
Hey you, looking at your book and doing it now? Good, please circle the correct words for every sentence. But let me help you read. Number two, choose there's or there are three butterflies on the flower. So which one do you choose? Good. Number three. Do we choose there's or there are four three bananas in the lunchbox? Do you choose there's or there are? Okay, number four. Three apples on the tree. Do we choose there's or there are? Please circle the correct one. Five, a lizard on the log. A lizard, it's one. So which one do we choose? There's or there are? Okay, circle the correct word. The last one, a football on the TV. So which one do you circle? Mm-hmm. Good. Now, let's look at what we should have done. Now, look at the answers here. Did you do this? I hope you did. Now, if you didn't do it, please go back to your book and circle the correct words. Just like you see them now. Good. I hope you're done now. Very good, student. Let's move on. Now turn to page 72. Read the song, then draw the animals. Do you remember the song in the student's book? Okay, the song is on page 71 in the student's book. So please go look at page 71 of the student's book and then you will read the song again and draw the animals. You don't have to do this assignment now. You can do this one later in your free time. This one you can leave for now and do it later in your free time. For that one in page 72 you will read the song and draw the animals in every one of the pictures that are drawn and numbered here. Do you see the animals, the crocodile, the snake, the lizard, the cat, the tiger and the spider? And do you also see the rooms? Please draw that in your free time. You don't have to do that now because next you will have to do the assignment that is on page 73. You will do that assignment and take a picture of it and send it back to me for checking. If you can also be able to, please take a picture of all the work you have done today and send back to me just so that I may be sure you did. But very important for you to take a picture of the next assignment in page 73 Kindly take your book from the workbook page 73 and do the assignment there. Let me show you how to go about it. Page 73. Look and tick the box. Look at the picture and tick the box. Can you see the picture? I can see bikes. I can see a tree. It's a fruit tree. I can see something on the log. What's that? It's a lizard or is it a frog? What is it? Okay, now you will do this assignment here. Can you also see the butterflies? So for number one, is there a butterfly on a flower? That's already been 
ticked it's already been checked that yes there is okay so you do the number two is there a frog on the log i will help you on that one you got to check the correct box take the correct box are there any bikes on the grass take the correct box are there any bananas on the tree take the correct box then number two look at the picture in activity one then match the questions with the answers still the same picture up there is there a spider on the flower match it with the correct answer what do you think is the correct answer it's one so the answer will have a there is or isn't so the answer is no there isn't is there a spider on the flower no there isn't so now do the rest of the three sentences once you do that kindly take a picture and as you take the picture write your name in pencil on top of the page and then send back to me for checking thank you and have a very good is it day for you or is it evening for you good luck to you and see you next time bye bye